Hello YouTube, Magma Rhino here. Today is a somewhat special day. Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, wow, sorry about that. I know there has been not many videos on my channel lately, as in pretty much none. Um, so I've just been really overwhelmed with all sorts of stuff. But whatever, I'm getting back into it now. And um, I wanted to for first bring you a pretty good uh, video here. This is a triple review of three somewhat similar apps, although they do different things. Um, now, they are all by the developer MBFG. They make some uh, pretty cool apps here. Um, and they make a bunch of these things, as you can see on screen, floating browser, floating terminal. What that means is what it sounds like. It floats. It goes over everything else, as you can see. And uh, you can still do stuff in the background, and these will stay up. Um, you touch the little gray dot, it'll minimize it. The dots are small, so it's hard to hit. You can uh, bring it back up by over here. You can actually add another calculator with this app. Uh, you can resize them. Resizing is a bit laggy, but it works. Um, and then, of course, you can close them both out. So that's the air calculator. There's also over screen, S-K-R-E-E-N. And that is a browser, and this one... Uh, it's a bit better with the resizing, and you can make it any size you want, any dimensions. Uh, the web page will try to resize as best as it can for the dimensions, and it usually works pretty well. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the default Android browser. Um, one problem I have found is with the keyboard, if, say, you have two, whoops, two half screen. Where's that other one? So here you have the tap to terminate one and then the tap to show. Um, but if you try typing on one that is behind the other, it will only show half the keyboard. So that is a uh, eh, pretty major issue. Hopefully that gets fixed. Um, hopefully the developer can bump the keyboard to always be in front, um, no matter what, even in front of the screens here. And I mean, I know that's possible, it's just a matter of doing it. So, um, yeah, you know, pretty much basic browser features. You have uh, settings in here. Minimize that. You know, same settings as on the default browser. Um, because it is pretty much the default browser. Um, and then here you can tap to terminate them all. So now they're all closed. Um, and the last thing is Stick It. It's a video player. Um, so what I'm going to do is... I don't have a video here. No. Um, I am in the works of doing a, you probably can't read this, and it doesn't matter, because I'll talk eventually about it. I'm comparing all the custom ROMs and uh, stock, seeing performance, battery life, all that stuff. So right now I'm stock, I'm completely restored. I only installed these three apps and like one or two more. Um, so that's why I don't have any videos. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube using the Overscreen browser. I'm going to play a YouTube video using Stick It. Alright, so let's go to YouTube. Let's watch the new Call of Duty Black Ops 2 trailer, which is pretty epic. If you haven't seen it and you're into that stuff, I highly recommend you go watch it. Alright, and here it gives you the options which you want to open it with, uh, which is, I think it's nicer than that little pop-up thing. Um, but that's just my opinion. But you can't set default in it, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, and then you just can play the video. And here's the video. So, I mean, a uh, little glitchy move in it. But no big deal, because you're not going to be moving it when you're watching it. So now you can have this up. That little bar will disappear in a sec. And the video will go to the full screen. And then you can do other stuff in the background. So if you want to go in here, whatever, yada yada, surf the web. You can do all sorts of stuff in the background. And this can just sit wherever you want it to sit. Um, of course, you can skip ahead, drag just the bar on top. You can make it bigger, you can go full screen with it, um, which I wish the full screen would uh, put just a black background around it, sort of, so that you don't see whatever's behind it, because it is full screen, you don't really care what's behind it. Um, but just like before, you can also minimize it. Oops, I paused it. If you tap, you pause it, obviously. Um, you can minimize it, it'll stop playing, or you can, let me just close all them. Pop it back up, there it is, and it'll resume playing. 
And you can also have multiple videos up here. And the playback is really, really smooth for all of them, even if you have three, four, five videos playing at the same time. They'll all play audio, they will all uh, do stuff like that. Um, obviously, there's always room for improvement. What I would like to see improved, uh, if the developer um, would like to make this app even better, would be have individual volume control for each, so that you can, or at least a mute button for each one, so that if you only want to listen to one, but if you want to see multiples, you can do that. Um, the glitchiness, no big deal really when you're moving it, but again, like I said, the full screen, have it put a black uh, background around it, that would be nice. Other than that, I mean, that pretty much goes the same for all of these. I believe this one actually does go full screen, yeah, it does, uh, with no border. But the thing is, when it's full screen, you hit the home button, it doesn't do anything, you have to actually minimize it up here, or close it. Um, and the calculator... It's perfect, it does what it has to do, it's got all your functions, you can change the op. I can't even say that word, opacity, I believe it's opacity, there we go, and you got all your functions there that you have on the normal default browser, but you also have copy and insert and paste, so if I want to copy that, oops, copy, multiply it by that, and multiply it by itself, you get a big number, and if you paste it, it just replaces whatever you have with what you copied. Um, but, you know, pretty much self-exclamatory. So, over screen right here, this is the floating browser. This one costs $2. Would I recommend it if you have a tablet? Hell yeah. It's great, and uh, this is the one that the developer is doing the most work on currently. So this, you can expect the most uh, bug fixes, upgrades, features, stuff like that on it. Um, Air Calculator is free, so definitely get it. Um, it's great if you are doing homework or something, uh, you're in the browser, or you have an ebook for math, and you have that open, you have the calculator just up here in the corner, you can just do your math right here, and it's as simple as that, it is an amazing app, and it's free, so yeah, highly recommend you get that, no question about it. Stick It is $1.50, and this one's pretty good, um, I find less use for it than the others, um, of course you can play files that you have in here, I just don't have any, that's why I didn't play any. Um, and it does have multi-view, you just have to download a uh, an app from the market, it's like another 3 megabytes, but it'll prompt you if you try to open two at once. Um, but you'll just have to take my word for it, it works perfectly fine, no problems there. Um, so anyway, yeah, these three apps, again, $2, free, $1.50. I highly recommend all of them, they're all great. Uh, if you're on a limited budget, I would go with Overscreen, over stick it. Um, but AirCalc, it's free, so just get it. Even if you think you won't use it, it's definitely worth it. Um, but basically, there has been rumors that uh, CyanogenMod 9, which is a custom ROM for Android uh, devices of all sorts, um, that they're going to have kind of uh, tabbed apps for all apps in a newer version, for the tablet versions of CyanogenMod 9. So what that means is even if you open up something like this, it will still have that little bar up there where you can minimize it, you can resize it, stuff like that. But currently they don't have it. I don't see it happening for a while. The only alternative is Cornerstone, in which it cuts your browse, it cuts your screen here and here, and you have two little apps and one big app. And I really can't stand that. It's annoying. Um, it's just, it's pretty much pointless. Because with these three apps, these are really the only three that you'd ever want to be tabbed. I know there's more, um... But basically, you put these in front with whatever you want to do, and then you can just open up the other app you want in the background. Um, so yeah, some stuff will get cut off. You can't like resize it to uh, show everything, but hey, whatever. It's better than nothing, and it's the best you can get right now. And um, it's amazing if you have an Android tablet, so I would highly, highly recommend them. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for this little triple review. I hope you like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will hopefully be doing a ton more videos over this week, next week. And um, as far as my progress for comparing the ROMs, I'm going to be doing stock, which is just how it is now. I'm going to be doing Cyanogen Mod 9, um, Android Open Kang Project, and Revolver. Uh, Revolver is currently in beta, but so are the other two, I believe. So whatever, doesn't matter. Um, they're all ice cream sandwich ROMs and... Uh, they're all pretty fantastic in their own way. I currently like Revolver the best, 
um, but you know it's really personal preference. Uh, Revolver has the least amount of features other than stock, so. But I'll get into that later when I do the huge comparison video. I'll have a whole document Excel spreadsheet, so if you want to download that, look at it, see all the features yourself, you can do that too. Um, but, you know, get that in the future. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you later.